Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm so excited for today's video. I am officially like on vacation right now from work. This is my first day that I am taking, well not today, but tomorrow's my first day I'm taking off since I started on January 7th or whatever day I started and it is much needed. My firm has off on Friday and Monday for Memorial Day, which I'm very grateful for. And as a result, I am going home for the first time since January. And I think this is the longest I've gone without going home and it's just gonna be a little staycation. I have some family coming in town, but we're also bringing another couple that we're really good friends with with us because they haven't really been to Panama City Beach before, or at least it's been like a really long time since I have. So I'm super excited. And in this vlog, I'm going to be packing for that. And I'm also just going to be showing you all clips once we're there and everything like that. I thought it'd be really fun to do like a pack with me. But before we get into packing and all that good stuff, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video and tell you all about them. And it is glassesusa.com. So excited to be working with them again. I've worked with them before and some of my absolute favorites blue light glasses and sunglasses are from glassesusa.com. But you all know that I recently got actual prescription glasses because my eyes, I realized, got like really terrible over the last year, especially with working so close to a screen. I'm very nearsighted and I have astigmatism. And now that I have a prescription, working with glassesusa.com this time around, I'm able to get actual prescription glasses and I'm wearing some right now. If you all like any of the glasses you see or you wanna check out glassesusa.com, which I highly suggest you doing so, there will be a link in the description box for you to check them out. If you don't know anything about glassesusa.com, they offer 9,000 prescription sunglasses and glasses at a really great price. They have in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E. And they also have designer brands such as Ray-Ban, Oakley, and Gucci and many, many more. And they are able to sell these glasses at up to 70% off of retail prices because of cutting out the middleman, which is so incredible. I really love how it's a one-stop shop for all your eyewear needs, whether it's glasses or contacts or sunglasses, starting at $30 for basic prescription lenses included. And you can do all of this without leaving the comfort of your home. They have so many options. So if you're like me and you're new to glasses and wearing glasses and you don't really know which ones you wanna wear, they have a quiz you can take online to help you narrow down and figure out which style you might like most. It only takes a minute and it really helps to figure out which glasses you would probably like best based on the shape of your face. I'm really looking forward to getting contacts and getting them from glassesusa.com so that I can save 25% off all contact lens brand names such as AccuVu, BioInfinity, Haley's, and many more. I also love that they have a virtual try-on because I had no idea what frame glasses were best on me when I was trying to figure out my glasses and the virtual try-on really allows me to sort of just try on a bunch of pairs without having to actually try them on. I use it to find mine and it was super, super helpful and I wanted to experiment with different shapes so I was able to kind of figure out which shapes I wanted to play around with when I was getting picking and picking out my glasses. As somebody who just started wearing glasses, I know firsthand that they are freaking expensive and so are contacts. So having a place where you can count on more affordable options and prices and still have a huge variety to choose from is literally incredible. So this pair that I have on right now is like a black, clear, and gray frame, and these are for my prescription. These are the Muse Zoltan frames, and I'll have the link to all of the ones I mentioned down below if you want to shop them. I really like these. They fit my face perfectly. I don't think they're too big, too small, and they are actually super freaking comfortable. Like they don't slide off my head at all, and they aren't too tight and they're just perfect. Love how different these are too. It's like a little subtle black tortoise, but then the front is clear. These are the Gunmetal Atoto Latoro. I'm so excited because I was really worried about going home and going to the beach and one, not having my glasses on at the beach because I knew I would want sunglasses on. I don't have a contacts prescription yet. So this just literally saved the day. Thank you glassesusa.com because I'm gonna have two sunglasses options for the beach that are prescription, which is the coolest thing ever. And these are like a different shape than what I normally go for, but I think they fit my face really well. Normally round frames I just stay away from, but I feel like this is like the perfect mix of a round and square and I love them. Definitely gonna be sporting these on the beach and I love that I can wear sunglasses and still see. Here's another uh, frame, Muse frame and they are the black Ivors. I wanted to get like a classic chic, very timeless black square, more square pair. And once again, these are prescription sunnies. Definitely check out glassesusa.com and I'll have the link in the description below as well as the links to all of my frames that I personally got and love. And thank you so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video.
Okay, so we leave like early tomorrow morning and y'all just saw me get some more last minute things together. I've been kind of putting um, ideas and outfit options on like one little section of my closet so that when I it came time for me to actually pack, it'd be a little bit easier. So I just did a few more little last minute things. I've gotten a pile of stuff ready to go for the most part, but I kind of want to like show you the outfits I'm thinking and that kind of thing. Okay, I figured we could switch things up a little bit in terms of environment and I can show y'all my outfits I'm planning in our closet. Um, first off, swimsuits. So I have this one from Princess Polly. It's so cute. When I saw it on the website, I didn't realize it was like Lizzie McGuire type of flowers and it looked like the little petite floral, like this type of floral almost, but just more clustered together. So that's what I thought it was, and it's not like that, but it's fine because the crinkliness of it, you can't really tell. I just think this is a really trendy pattern that I don't like, I don't care for it. But the colors of it and the style sold me, and the way it looks, like from a distance, it doesn't look like the really trendy flowers. So I have this Princess Polly bikini. I love it. It's super flattering on me. And then the bottoms are super stretchy. And then I'm gonna take, I think this black bow one that I got last year. Um, it's another like pink floral one. If you can't tell, I like floral stuff. And um, this is a top. And then I'm gonna take this one, which will be on the beach with like family one day, which these aren't like super revealing by any means, but they're definitely on the cheekier side. But I'm gonna take this Abercrombie swimsuit. I got this a while ago. I was small, the bottoms, and then this really cute top that goes with it. Um, it's kind of like that. Wait, like this. And then it ties in the back. And then I know we're going to, I'm gonna bring these just to like pull over. They're from Urban Outfitters. They're just like some boxer like style white linen shorts, just as like casual shorts. And then I'm bringing my three Target pajama sets. I probably only need to bring two. Like the screen and white like gingham um, button down shirt from Princess Polly. It's oversized and I'm planning on wearing it with this white tank from Aritzia, just a basic tank. I'll leave everything linked. And then these white Aritzia linen shorts that I got recently, they are so comfy. And I figured I could like take this off if I didn't wanna wear it. And I think I'll wear this with either like my Birkenstocks or um, these white Supergas. And just do like an all white moment with the green pullover. And I'll probably wear this when we go, the day we go to 30A um, because I, live like or my parents live like 30 minutes from 30a so we're probably just gonna go to like rosemary though i don't really ever go to the other parts of 30a i normally just go to the rosemary and seagrove area so um we'll probably just be going over there for dinner and then we're gonna go to firefly one night and amigos or amici which is also towards 30a um both are like restaurants that you can dress up or just kind of like be pretty casual in. So I'm gonna bring this Aritzia like sculpt knit Babaton tank. I love that it's like a blue color because it's gonna be very ocean vibes and I don't know which pants I wanna bring yet. I have these white pants from um, Princess Polly. Kind of fitted at the waist and the hips and they kind of are just like a wide leg, but they're like a dress pant material. And I just got these taken in. I finally took all of my pants. It was so expensive, but I went and took 10 pairs of like just jeans and pants that I have and got them hemmed and taken in and everything fits me perfectly now. So I'm thinking either this with these white pants or um, if it's gonna be more casual, depending on what everyone else is wearing and where I end up wearing it to. I have these white Urban Outfitters jeans that I've had for over a year and I haven't been able to wear them because um, they were way too big on me in the waist, but I got them taken in and they have like one little rip at the knee and I think I'll wear either of these white pants and it'll be like a good coastal moment with the navy and the white. I'll either wear these lace-up ones and you just won't see the lace-up portion, which is fine, because they're like a tan, or I will wear these brown ones, but I don't like this undertone of brown with that outfit, but I also have white lace-up sandals that I could wear, so. I don't really know what shoes I'm gonna wear with those yet. That's still up in the air. And then to keep things simple for, whether it's for Firefly or Amigos or Amici, I'm gonna bring this white little sundress from Princess Polly. It's just so cute, so comfortable. Perfect little beach dress and it'll be easier than packing more pants. So I think I'm gonna definitely bring this. So bringing this pair of denim shorts, like if I'm just wearing them to go throw on over the beach or if we're just doing something more casual, these are from Vestique a while ago. I don't think they still sell them. And I have these laid out, my dish denim shorts. These are my all-time favorite denim shorts. 
to wear, but if I'm going to the beach, I like these more because they're easier to slide on and off than these are. These are a bit more like, these are a bit more like loose fitting, easy to slide on, and these are, so I'll probably only end up bringing these. For my cover ups, I'm gonna either gonna bring just like the Sanibel Island tank top that's actually my dad's that he's had for a long time and I stole from his closet a long time ago, or this like vintage little rip curl. It's like a t-shirt dress, but I would, yeah, it's pretty much a dress, it's pretty long. Um, so might wear this and my just rainbow flip-flops, of course, to the beach. Um, I like wearing just big t-shirts as cover-ups because it's a lot easier. I got this off Depop um, and I love it. I also have this romper as a cover-up that I could bring, but I also have a like white oversized crochet type of sweater that I can wear that's at home with my denim shorts. So I really only need to bring one of these. I just need to decide which one I want to bring. I doubt we'll be doing like any exercising or anything, but just in case we like go on a beach walk or something like at night or in the morning and we're not in swimsuits, which I doubt that'll be the case. I'm probably going to bring both of these for that. I probably only need one of them. So we'll figure that out with some running shorts or leggings. And then also on the way there or back, this will probably be for tomorrow. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking of just wearing this little gray TNA tank top with my black adapted state Lou lemon joggers, which are currently drying, and just like some ankle socks and maybe my white Superga's so I don't have to pack them. That kind of vibe, just like sporty casual. I feel like my outfits on the way there don't matter at all. Or maybe I'll rewear these white shorts because these are super comfy. They're not the most flattering things in the world on me at all, but maybe just this will do. I'm trying to pack all my clothes in my base. Um, weekender bag, which I have not gotten to use yet, so I'm super excited. I got it for my birthday from my parents. And the bottom has this opening part for shoes, which I've already put shoes in here. A lot of shoes in here for no reason. I just like don't wanna not have the right shoes for my outfits. I think I'm gonna put these up because I just don't think they're gonna look good with literally any of my outfits. Got my rainbows, best flip flops ever. Got these black Dolce Vitas. And then these from Urban Outfitters, they're like the same shoe, kind of. And then I've got white lace up and tan lace up, and I think that's plenty. And I might put my Supergas in there if I don't end up wearing them tomorrow. And then Bittersweet, never thought I'd come back. It's been a while since I packed up my things and left. I recall it still in my beat up truck. I didn't look back. Okay, now we're doing my base. <laughs> Stop kit, I'm using like all base stuff for packing. Um, I can't put everything in here yet because like my toothbrush is gonna go on the bottom, razor will go on the bottom, um, and a few other things. And then the top part, I'll have my skincare and that kind of stuff and hair care. Um, but I am gonna put my makeup eraser, that's clean. My little jewelry case. I'm gonna put this in my um, bag, my actual bag that I'm packing. And my seeds, pack one of my little Dermaplane razors in case I need to like touch up my eyebrows or something while I'm there. For the sake of saving room, I'm only taking my Curl Talk gel um, for hair. Skin care, I'll just take hyaluronic acid, this for ingrown hairs and stuff, thermal water, beauty oil, super goop, lip mask, lash serums for nighttime skincare and this is for nighttime skincare. Is it even a trip if you don't end up repacking? Everything's packed in the bag, but I'm convinced that using my packing cubes that I got in a FabFitFun box forever ago from CalPack, I'm convinced that if I use them, I'm gonna end up having more space because if it works in a suitcase, it's gotta work in my base bag, right? So we're gonna do all of bikinis, which I switched out the black bow bikini for the screen garage one, because I haven't worn the screen garage one before, and I actually really like the way it looks on me and fits on me. I got my first real kiss behind the coffee shop. Thought he was the one until we broke it off. I recall it still. like 10 o'clock I still need to shower off just like a body shower but we are I'm like done packing my bag I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it zipped like there's room to zip it but I just like don't know like or it's gonna take both of us to zip it if I want to zip it I guess but um it's fine I guess because it's not gonna go on an airplane but I am bringing that bag this bag 
This is gonna be like my beach bag when I'm there. But right now I have purses in it. I have three, but I definitely don't need all three. I just threw them all in here. I got this one that I got from Target. And then I've got this one from Urban, which I definitely do not need all three of these. And this one that I always carry. But then I also have like my, there's more sun, there's a ton of sunscreen and like tanning stuff in here, sunscreen in here. And yeah, I'm just gonna put my, I think my, I don't think my dog kit's in my bag yet. So I'll probably stick that in here too. And then this bag, I'm gonna use for like Ella's stuff, which we keep dog food at my parents' house. So really just her toys and some treats in here. And then I'll also put some of probably our snacks either in here or in this bag, just like for the road trip, just some things we have here, like dried mango, trail mix, that kind of thing. But those are like the three bags I'm taking. I'm packing my Kindle and my new glassesusa.com glasses and my beach bag. And yeah, it's it's good. Like I was gonna wear those Supergas on the trip tomorrow, but I'm like, do I want to wear tennis shoes on a road trip? Like not really. Um, so I just have them sitting on top. And then I ended up putting my makeup case in the bottom portion with my other shoes, um, and it fits in there perfectly. But like all this stuff on in here, like these um, little cow pack things, they can squish down really easily. It's just like getting this. Like obviously right now it's not going to because it's not in here, right? But I don't know. Um, it'll be fine though, regardless. All right, it is six eleven. We're about to get on the road. Um, we got up at like. 4.55 and we went to Griffin's parents' house because we were searching out the car. We're taking one of his family's car cars so that um, all four of us and my brother can fit on the way back with Ella. So I'm just wearing this Skims like cotton rib tank, I think. I don't know which one it is. It's actually like a shirt I normally wear for pajamas. And then these white um, Boyed, or I don't know how you say it, Boyed, I think, shorts. And then I'm wearing my socks and Birkin socks. And I have a jacket in the car to throw over, like a sweatshirt, but I'm gonna grab the rest of all this stuff and we're gonna get on the road. So on the very first night, we took our friends and my mom and we went to Christo's, which is one of our favorite local spots. It's just kind of like bar food, but it's actually the best. It was our friend's favorite meal of the whole trip. Then we went to Rocket Lanes and met some of my high school friends for bowling and had some drinks for Thirsty Thursday. And then the next morning just woke up and had some breakfast at the house and coffee. And then we went to the state park, which is where I usually always go when I go back home for the beach. Um, it's just where I grew up going for the most part. And it was a beautiful day and we enjoyed the beach. We had pub subs before the beach and grabbed like some snacks and kombucha and the water was really pretty. It was clearing up because it had rained the days before, but it was just so beautiful. And I got this amazing kombucha from Publix and I wish I could get it in Texas, this Florida Dreamin'. It's like orange vanilla, so good. And then, we went out to 30A later on that day and we went to Amigos for dinner and I had a creamsicle, dreamsicle margarita, very on brand with the kombucha I had. And then I had the honey sriracha chicken rice bowl. Then we walked over to Rosemary Beach and showed them the pearl. OGs oh, know this is where I worked five summers ago, the first summer I had my YouTube channel. It was a cocktail pool server, all that good stuff here five years ago. So had a Summer on 30A, I think that's the name of the drink, lemonade. And then we went to La Crema. We were waiting at the Pearl for our reservations for La Crema and we got chocolate fondue for dessert, so good. And then we also got the cookies, they're so good, so soft on the inside and then crispy on the outside with a shot of milk. Then we went to Mr. Surf's and the Finn's Barista Bar the next morning before the beach and just got some coffee and then went straight back to the beach for a six hour beach day with some family members and with our friends. Had so much fun just playing in the water and enjoying such a beautiful day. And we had a tent out there and everything. Had this Noli South kombucha, it's my favorite from that brand. Then we went home and got bricks and barley pizza for dinner and just picked that up. This is like the only pizza place we go to um, at home. And then the next morning we went on a walk on the beach and the water doesn't look pretty here, but it was really pretty. It was just the way the sun wasn't really hitting it yet. And showed them like the jetties and everything and just walked from like the pier to the jetties this day. But it was a really pretty day and it got really hot on our walk back. And then we went to Black Bear, went out back towards 30A because this is like one of my favorite breakfast places, even though it is like a 40 minute drive for us. And I just had an iced vanilla latte with oat milk and the breakfast 
sandwich on a biscuit and then we went to sort of the Alice Beach area, rented some bikes and just ride, rode around and showed them all the houses and the architecture. We decided we wanted to like stop and get drinks and like day drink a little bit. So we ended up just riding through Alice for a little bit, didn't like ride very far, but just kind of rode throughout the neighborhood. And then we went to the Citizen, which was, this was my first time here. And we just got some drinks. This drink was so good. I don't remember what it was called. And then we biked to Pescado, which I also haven't been here before, but I know a couple of the bartenders here and literally the most incredible view. We were there between lunch and dinner or brunch and dinner and it had like a margarita. We were all having a great time. And then later that night we went to Firefly, which is my favorite sushi spot in Pan Panama City Beach. And we had like the Brussels sprouts as appetizer, bread, and I got the surf and turf roll and then we split one other roll. And I don't remember what it was, but the surf and turf is my favorite. And that is everything from the trip. Thank you so much for watching. I know I didn't like do any actual vlogging, but I was trying to like really be present and just enjoy my time there. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and thank you so much for watching.